Greetings, fellow glitchlings. My name is Animal Glitch, and welcome back to another Road to Recovery vlog. Tomorrow is when I go back to phys physical therapy after the doctor visit. Um, not much. You guys are probably wondering by now why the hell I keep looking out the window so goddamn much. I don't know. I really don't. It's just one of those things that it's become like part of my life to look out the window every now and again. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so. Ankle is fine. You know, I'm still getting mobility back. And mobility has been coming back. And to, actually mobility has been coming back to the point where mobility is not the problem anymore. Meaning I can walk just fine. You know, but, however, the physical therapist is more working on my balance. Rather than my... Rather than my mobility. My mobility has come back already. So, yeah, as I'm walking... As I'm walking you guys back and forth around my room here... You can tell that my mobility is fine. It's the balance that's the problem. Mm -hmm. The pain reduces every single day. Each passing day. Always reducing. But, however, let's not talk about the ankle. And let's talk about the, the channel here. So, what am I going to do today, you ask? I don't know. I am going to do a video. Um, I signed Melina up to do hers today, so Wrath Cortex is coming back, everybody. Um, I was thinking of uh, waiting until Junior Nature 24 came back so we can reenact, you know, so we can try to remake that same exact duo. That we had before. That we had in the before recording. The one that didn't make it to my new computer. That is. But. I felt like since he's already been in it enough. And he is going to be in the. I feel like I don't want to say this, but I I'm gonna say it. Um, yeah, I'm doing Sonic 06. Yeah, for the channel, Melina was the one that had the idea, not me. You know, not me. I didn't want to do the fucking game, but apparently Melina says it's good for something, so. I said, all right, whatever. So basically, the game that basically the channel that plays terrible games. So, well, that's not true. Not all my games that I play are terrible. Just half of them are my childhood, and Wrath of Cortex just falls under the category of my channel. So, well, falls on. Uh, sorry, Wrath of Cortex falls under the category of my childhood, you see, because that was the one I grew up with. And, uh, I suppose anybody who is a big fan of Crash Bandicoot does not like that part of the series, because, <laughs> and is, um, and they hate it so much that if it was a part of the series, they wish, oh how they wish they could say it's non-canon. But they can't, because it is canon. So, unfortunately they have to put up the fact that Crash Bandicoot had a, a terrible game. Which, every mascot character has gone through their fair share of terrible games. Ra hell, Ratchet and Clank, I will even admit I'm a Ratchet and Clank fan, and I have to admit, Ratchet and Clank has been through some bad games, too. Um, well, I'm gonna 
before I um, list the ones I incredibly don't like, I'm going to list the one that I can tolerate, but in the end, I just don't really like it that much, you know. <laughs> Meaning, like, if I was locked in a room with all of, of Ratchet and Clank's terrible games, this would be the one that I would be able to play, at least. Secret Agent Clank. As much as I don't like Secret Agent Clank, I feel like, um, like I felt like it was a potential game that could have been good, but in the end, it just, I mean, for me, you know, it just felt a little, <laughs> well, I'm going to say my opinion. My opinion is that for me, it's too difficult. Well, except for the beginning parts where you're just Clank, but when it comes to Clunk, and you fight him with that, all that button shit that you have to do that, um, you gotta make sure you press the right button and you don't fuck up, because if you fuck up even once, you're screwed. You know. And I don't want that. I never passed clunk, so. Anyways. In fact, when this, uh, remaster, remake... I guess you could say, came out for Ratchet and Clank. I was a little shaky because this is retelling the whole beginning of the story. So I was a little shaky at the moment, especially with the movie, too. I was very, eh. Because, you know, some video game movies don't really do too well. You know, but this one kind of did all right. I mean, acceptable, at least. I mean, I even had the DVD somewhere in this, uh, Hang on a minute. In that big mess right there. Yeah. In that mess over there, Ratchet and Clank is somewhere. And I've seen it before. Um, but, between the original start of Ratchet and Clank and, you know, the uh, nowadays start of Ratchet and Clank. I feel like the nowadays one makes more sense. I mean, I'm not saying the original didn't, you know, because they told the story, you know, and stuff like that. And only um, Dr. Nefarious at the time was only mentioned. He was never shown in the game. But... When it came to the second one, yeah, there he was. If I remember correctly, actually, I don't think I would remember it much from the second game. I was more of a I jumped straight to three kind of guy. I went from one to three, you know, and only played like the beginning of two because I didn't know, because I'm not good at the, the hacking part. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at Ratchet and Clank. For a guy who says he's a Ratchet and Clank fan, you know. But anyways, um, videos are coming along. Mm -hmm. And I must tell the, uh, the whatabouts of what happened, um, yesterday. I did catch up to... 40 Goofy Goober tokens. I'm trying my goddamn hardest to do the fucking ring challenges. I can't. In every single one, I started with the tub. I couldn't even get past the fucking tub. Jesus Christ. Fucking ring challenges. It's like the, the slight. If you go like. To the left slightly, you know, you miss it. Or if you go to the right slightly, and sometimes it won't even read that I go gone through it and shit. It sucks. Especially the paddy wagon ones. The fuck? So, yeah. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. I'm, uh... Gone back to everybody's time challenges, and I did their time challenges at least. Now I just have to do everybody's ring challenges. So 
So yeah. So. I'm still wondering, um, the, there was, like, a part in, uh, uh, 3,000 Miles to Shell City, um, there was actually a question mark there. I didn't know what the hell it was. You know, I didn't know what the hell it was. I, I feel like I should try to find it out, because, uh... I mean, just for Goofy Goober token's sake, you know. Anyways, yeah, that's just my behind the scenes, you know, thing of what I'm doing for the, uh, the fan fiction reading episodes. I mean, I might as well catch everything up before, uh, you know, before we do another episode of that. Um,. I'm actually almost done with the health part in the skill tree in Immortal Redneck. If I just had a few more runs, I just need to go through a few more runs and I would have had and I would have this skill tree finished. That's how close I am to this skill tree being fully completed. It's all I need. Just a few more runs. And this skill tree will be filled. And I will come back with a mortal redneck. Which, actually, if I could show you guys here. Okay, no, I can't. Okay, well, anyways, if there's anything I know that I did is that I made a new thumbnail. Or, uh, Immortal Redneck. Because I felt like, you know, if I'm going to be coming back with something, I might as well come back with something new, you know, behind the thumbnail. And plus, that little tip for you behind the scenes, that thumbnail that I currently have on Immortal Redneck right now, that was back in a time where, um, where, um, the Immortal Redneck, uh, logo thing I uh, didn't have a transparent version of it so I for the life of me could not you know find it so what I did was I just slapped the immortal redneck thing on top of that and then and there you go you know this time I found it and then this time I have you know my new inkling, you know, transparent character that Deadly Black helped out with. I did thank him in the thank you room of the Glitchling Army Discord for everything. When I said thank you, Deadly Black, for everything, for all the help that you're doing for me, I meant everything that you've done. You literally... I've, it's just that deep down, I feel like you've done more work than I did, you know, and now I feel terrible, you know, but that isn't to say that I'm not working on anything. I'm still looking out side. I know it's creepy. <laughs> creepy guy, what can I say? <laughs> now, VR games will be coming back soon. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But I want to make sure I'm completely better before I tackle on into a lot of movement, I should say. I mean, that isn't to say that I can't play any VR games. No, it's just that um, recording VR games are a bit more fickle and have more of a problem than regular old games, you know, with Elgato. I mean, with Elgato, you know, it's like... There's like a big glitch on the screen, you know, but you know, when I have the headset on, everything's fine for me. Like the screen inside the headset's like, don't worry about it, it's fine. But when I look up, you know, the screen over there is like all glitched out and everything. And it look, glitch may be in my name, but 
I'm supposed to be a gaming channel, and if you can't see the game, there is no point in continuing. No. If I can, and I mean this, if I can find a way to get Pixel Gear, Pixel Gear is coming to my channel. Um, Job Simulator. Job Simulator is also coming back. Cause why the hell not? Search and Simulator isn't. I made sure that that stayed as a one-off because I suck at that game. There's a difference between one-offs and, you know, actual series that I'm gonna do. So I'm thinking. Since I'm near the end already, I'm thinking maybe Pac-Man World 2. So we can wrap this up with a bow and call it done. But, I also have other thoughts to think about. So, yeah. Such as, well, Jet Set Radio Future, for instance. That's my favorite game. Um, if I were to say this like Juno 24, it's my favorite game of all time, actually. And unlike some people, I actually have two favorites of all times. Which is, um, Stubbs the Zombie and Jet Set Radio Future. So, yeah. But Stubbs the Zombie, you know, I have plans for that one, so don't, don't worry about that. You know, that ain't coming soon yet. I'm still kind of figuring everything out, you know. So, yeah. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. So, uh, yeah. Ciao, babies.